What up, everyone? I always get so pumped up for that music, and then it just is a letdown because it just stops. But I hope you guys are doing amazing today. Thank you so much. As you can see, uh, it's style from Stubble, but we're doing the Super Bowl edition, and uh, it looked good, and now it looks like it's a little bit cropped wrong, so it is what it is. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. I know uh, it's been snowing nonstop here in Utah, and I don't know if you guys saw my latest little reel that we did on Instagram and TikTok, but it was me and Logan, and I'm like, I have an idea. He's like, well, what do I need to do? I'm like, you just stay there. <laughs> so it was really fun. I got to embarrass him a little bit, which never happens. So I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. Why don't we say hi to everyone? We got Michael. How you doing, Mike? Thanks for uh, joining us. I'm like, I'm so glad that you're here. John, how you doing? Uh, we got Mr. Garrett himself. Thanks, Garrett, for coming along. Jason Klein. Jason, thank you. I uh, appreciate uh, you guys uh, stopping in. Yesterday's show was really good. Um, uh, John Drennan. Thanks, man. Miles. Okay, Miles sent me uh, a, an amazing note that, and a post from uh, Facebook. His friend thought um, Copper Johns was huge, bigger than we really are. And he thought we were mainstream and not small batch. And as you can see, we're a small batch. And uh, so this gentleman and his friend never got to try us out and wouldn't try us out. And uh, he tried us out, and now we're one of his favorites. So thank you, Miles, for, for your friendship. Thank you for pushing us. It, it means a lot. Because everyone that gets it in their hands um, means a lot to me. Uh, what's up, Jacob? How you doing, buddy? Thanks so much for coming. We need to talk still. Hey, Rick. How you doing, Rick? Thanks for coming. And uh, I'm excited. Hey, how you doing, Chris? How you doing? Thanks for coming, Chris. Uh, and Nicholas, appreciate you coming. Um, you guys are amazing. Uh, oh, hey, Melissa. I hope you guys watched last night's show. Last night's show was really, really good. Um, Melissa is uh, a, a plethora of knowledge like mr el guapo would say from the three amigos so uh i learned a lot from her especially the difference between lotion and uh beard butter and i knew that but at the same time it was really good uh relearning it and uh so i'm grateful for her yeah thanks miles and then phil bearding on a budget what's up man thanks for coming but you guys are amazing and uh I know it's a Friday night, and I know you could be elsewhere. So thank you so much for coming in and saying hi and just dropping by. I have tons of really cool facts that about Super Bowls. I'm going to ask you guys questions, see if you guys know them. We have guests the beard. We actually have seven guys who uh, who uh, were nice enough to send in their stuff with their three facts so that we can uh, get to know them a little bit better. And also, I'm going to show this right now just while we're here. Right now, if you go onto our website, we're doing this for seven days. I want to see how this works. But I don't know if you can see this or not. But if you look at the very top, right here, you'll see subtotal two items. So, so two items. So I added a nightfall oil. And then obviously right now it says ship insure, which uh, Copper Johns doesn't make any money. The company ship insure, you pay them the 98 cents. And then if something happens to your package, it comes back to you. Uh, I, and they they will insure it so that they'll reorder it, do everything on their end, and ship it to. However, that's not the cool thing. The cool thing is, receive a free gift with any purchase over seventy five dollars. So for the next week, if you go seventy five dollars or over, um, not only are you going to be able to get free shipping, but you're going to get a on the rocks beard oil. So I wanted to do that for uh, from today, so Friday until Tuesday of next week. Uh, no, Tuesday of after President's Day. So the 20th, I believe, is what it is. So hopefully you guys like that. Um, I just thought it was kind of cool. I wanted to show you guys that, you know, we're trying something different. Never been able to do that before. And so I got a new app that is allowing me to do that. So I wanted to see what you guys thought and then if it was worth it or not. Hey, what's up, Crazy Dad? Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Nano, how you doing? I appreciate you coming in, Mr. TV. Uh, always, thanks for coming in. And uh, yeah, you guys are amazing. Uh, will you have deals like this regularly? Yes and no. Uh, we're definitely going to do it for our anniversary. We're definitely going to do it for Black Friday. Um, we always do 12 beards of Christmas. Um, I don't know. I don't know. For for those three, three times, uh, for sure. But I don't know if uh, we'll do it any other time. I'm sure we will, but it's not going to be super regular. So uh, what did you say? Oh, boy. I'm going to need a raise. 
I can, <laughs> right? No, I appreciate it, guys. Hey, Will, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, and uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, my, uh, there's, hey, how you doing, uh, Mr. Bearded Looney Tunes? I don't know about you guys, but Candace and I have been talking about, I told her this week, I'm like, I love my family. I love her family. I have just, I love them both so much equally and and uh, i just told her i'm like i really would just love it if we had super bowl at our house like if we just relaxed uh got to make our own food that we want and we invite their parents and my parents whoever wants to come over and uh so we've been talking about food for the super bowl what we want to do and everything and uh now i'm just been really hungry and i'm like oh we got to go to sam's club we got to get this this and this and i told her i'm like i don't know we have to get pizza we have to do wings. We have to do those little wieners. I don't know if you guys do those, but we do uh, shrimp for shrimp cocktail. But you have to go to this certain store. It's called Harmon's, and they have this, like, spicy cocktail sauce. Yeah, it's, it's, so this whole time we've been talking, I'm, like, on our drive home from our warehouse, and I'm just like, I'm hungry. <laughs> ah, thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, always. Uh, the cleanup is for the kids. I'm just going to say that right now. That's why you have kids, right? So that they clean up after everything. <laughs> I wish that's how it worked. Um, but anyway, so, uh, yeah. And if you guys haven't done the send of the month, uh, you know, that's uh, where I think we only have like 20-ish left. And I don't have And it's different now because I'm only going to make a certain amount because it goes over there. So hopefully, uh, if you haven't had an opportunity, you got that. I'm just reading my notes what I need to talk about. All right, so do you guys have any questions for me? I'm going to answer. Uh, so John Drennan asked this question, and I kind of answered it last night, but I wanted to go over it a little bit more uh, because he wanted to know about Beard Bomb. Specifically, if you take Hunt, which is unfragranced uh, Beard Bomb, and you put a scented oil in, what will happen? Because it's an oil, and if you look at mustache wax and stuff like that, what will happen is mustache wax, uh, if you put beard oil in, mustache it'll take out the wax, and so that's how guys take out their wax for their for their mustaches. And will the beard balm, since it's being what has wax in, is it going to do any difference? And all uh, all the research I've seen and all the things that I've experimented with, uh, it's not going to do too much because it already has a carrier blend in it. It has a shea butter, it has the carrier oils in it, but it is going to render it so that it's not as strong. So I would say instead of like a hairspray or a gel that you put in your hair, it's going to be more like a mousse. So it's going to be, it's going to be there. It's going to nourish your beard. It's going to give the strength that you want it. But at the same time, it's going to be able to be movable. It's going to be soft and all that kind of stuff. So I would say, yes, do it. It's not going to be a huge difference in what you're already getting and uh, get the scent that you want for sure. So great question. I uh, can't wait till they start making no collar flannels. How sick that would be. I used to love collecting flannels until the beard grew long. That's why I do this. I That's the only reason why I always uh, uh, completely do up my collar. Because if you do it, you move your, you know, you move your neck all of a sudden it catches in your beard. So that's what I do. Yeah, John, I was just talking about you. Hopefully you got your answer. Uh, Tyson, you betting on a winner? Uh, I don't have a stake in this game. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't necessarily care for both teams, and I don't necessarily hate both teams. I just, you know, that type of thing. So, any St. Patrick Day scents, you will see. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll see, man. I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. So, I don't know if you guys have any uh, beard-related questions or any questions for me, but if I do, if you do, just hit a cue on there. And uh, I'll make sure to start and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a perfect Valentine's Day gift. It smells amazing for beer butter mas uh, massage by candlelight. Bonus point, guys. By roses, even if she says she does. Okay, so Candace, my wife, does not like flowers. She likes flowers, but she likes flowers that are alive. And so when uh, on Valentine's Day, on things like our, our anniversary and stuff like that, I'll buy a potted plant. And it's always a flower. So, like, she likes... Um, what are they called? Tulips? Not tulips. The ones that are skinny and that they come up, they bulb up and they last like a day. I don't know. She loves those ones. I don't know. I can't think of it. But anyway, so that's what I always do is I buy her a potted plant so that it can stay in the house and stay nice for the whole year. So I don't know. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for coming in. Seriously. It's an honor that you're here. All you guys. 
Uh, it's very difficult to find shirts that fit my neck. I have a dude, Will, that's me. I'm 23. I have a big neck from working out all the time and, you know, being a little heavier set. So uh, I hear you, Dixons. I'm telling you that they do an amazing job. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Sauerkraut and pork scent or eggs and beer scent. Ooh. Awesome. Who were, ooh, I just gave me a chill. <laughs> um, eggs are bad. Neither sound good. Uh, if I had to choose egg and beer uh, over sauerkraut and pork, for sure. Tulips. Nope, not tulips. They're not tulips. Thank you for looking into that. Uh, absolutely. Nope, not carnations, not tulips. Um, Candace isn't listening right now, but if she was, I would uh, I would definitely, I'll find out what they are. Um yeah, they only bulb one time and then they're dead and they're not annuals or or perennials or anything that they just keep coming back. But she loves them. Uh, any coffee, oud, beard oils in the works? Next month. I already said that. That's what we're doing. I said coffee's coming. So yes, March is the scent of the month and it's going to be a, a fun one. I, I, it's something that I've never done before. It's from your singing what is from my scene? What did I miss? Are you making fun of mine? <laughs> uh, my real uh, rose lilies? Nope. Day lily? Nope. I know for a fact it's not those. Picks or it didn't happen. Okay, I'm losing what you guys are talking about, but that's okay. All right, so I do have some questions for you. Okay, we have one more by Mike, um, but I do have some Super Bowl questions for you. Nope, not a lilac either your big neck oh yeah i do have a big neck from singing no it's from football i don't know uh it really did like so a lot of a lot of uh chest press you know bench press a lot of shoulder press and then you know for football they really do have a neck machine so you can work that neck because when you're hitting so much you know that type of thing uh you just gotta make sure you have a strong neck can you explain a little about your during having a problem with rash tried big box stuff and no good thanks for your help Okay, so, uh, Mike, uh, you may get a rash if you're allergic to baking soda or uh, it does have a tad bit of tea tree essential oil in it. Nothing super, nothing a huge amount, um, but it could give you a small rash if you are allergic to baking soda. If you want, I personally go every other day with my uh, deodorant. Uh, it doesn't, you don't need it every day if you're getting in the shower and washing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and the natural stuff really does work where it's to the point where you only have to use it every other day. But with that being said, if you're having a rash, you might want to just discontinue. Just unfortunately, uh, it does happen. Um, I will tell you this in the next two to three weeks, uh, we will be testing. I'm working, I'm waiting on some samples and stuff, um, care or, uh, raw materials. Uh, we're working on a deodorant that is going to be, um, baking soda free. So I don't know if you've ever had a deodorant where if you click like this and it comes through like a little, um, what did I do, guys? I can't talk today. Uh, like a strainer, uh, and then it comes out with little strain, like little noodles or something. That's what we're working on. Uh, where it's going to be, it's it's going to be more of a uh, not firm at all. So because it won't have the baking soda or anything like that. And so we're working on that, and that 100% will not give you a rash. So it's a great question. Unfortunately, there are people who are allergic or sensitive, and maybe not even allergic, just sensitive to baking soda. So great question. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. So, no. <laughs> nope, not daffodils. Dude, I love the smell of coffee. We did have one that was called um, Backwoods Coffee, and it reminded me of something that my grandpa made when we were camping. It didn't sell. It was one of the first ones that uh, we got rid of. And uh, But a lot of people want me to bring it back because uh, we have a lot more customers than we did right at the very beginning. And Backwoods Coffee was really good. It, was, it almost smelled like a vanilla latte. Like with an extra shot, like just a little bit of oomph to it, but it had the vanilla in there. So, no, um, beard oil. Oh, okay. Um, uh, morning glory. If watching football hasn't developed my muscles, <laughs> right? Uh, detox period can be three months flare up if you are under stress, but you won't need it every day. Uh, you don't smell after using it. It's true. 
Yep, it's going to be more of a gel-like substance than uh, than uh, anything. Um, it's just because that baking sour, baking powder does firm it up. And so uh, we are going to have one that's going to be baking powder free. And uh, it's, it's going to be really nice. But it's just going to take me some testing. And so it probably won't be for a few months until we have it like ready to go. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for coming on. No, not Pion. You guys are throwing out all these. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm going to have to find out, and I'll tell you guys next week because I promise you it's not though. I want. It's probably something you guys said. Um. Uh, yeah. Oh, Mike, that's awesome. I love Dan. Yeah, I'm grateful that he he's coming out and telling people. It, that means a lot. Thank you. Thanks for telling me. Hey, Mr. Logan. Again, guys, go follow Logan. Um, if you haven't on Instagram, TikTok, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Logan and I do a, a podcast called Dad Bods and Beards. We talk about everything and everything, including uh, prostate exams. <laughs> that was really funny. You should watch and listen to the last like five, ten minutes of our last podcast. Um, but anyway, he's a good dude. And uh, uh, yeah, my best friend for sure. No. All right. Um, I volunteer to be a tester. I will be asking people to test, so um, I'll hit you up when I get to that point where I need them. Yes, and, and that is true. Um, I do see a lot of people uh, who will go ch -ch 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 like that. I really just do this, and then I'm done. Um, you don't need a ton, and definitely on dry. Text turn. <laughs> um, I right here. You see this? This is my phone, and so I can't text her. So. Yeah, mainly prostates. That's mainly what we talk about. <laughs> that in Las Vegas, right? We talk about Las Vegas every podcast and the prostates. Um, ah, Mike, thank you, man. But hey, while while everyone's here, and before we actually hit the questions on the Super Bowl, why don't we do this? All right, here we go. You guys know the rules. I'm going to tell you, uh, you see a picture of them right here, and I'm going to tell you three things, and some of them gave me four things of uh, who they are and what they enjoy and what their hobbies are. And then once we have that, I would love you to guess who this is. So the first one is he has a cat named Smokey. He enjoys cigars, and he is the president of the Louisiana chapter of Renegade Beard Club. That is cool. Uh, this I've learned so much from doing this. I think this is really cool. So who is this? Hey, what's up, Missy? How you doing? Thanks for joining us. So we have Will right here. We have Bayou, which is Will. We have Will. Santa. <laughs> it's tool time, right? All right. So uh, some of you guys have guessed it, and it's right. It's Will. So uh, Will, check that beard out. Check that stash out. Yes, it's Bearded Bayou. Bayou Bearded Life. That is Will. And so uh, I, how cool is that? That is an amazing beard. So thank you so much, Will, for sending your stuff again. Uh, I think it's cool that he, he is uh, the president of Louisiana Chapter of Renegade Beard Club. Enjoy cigars and his name is Smokey. So I appreciate you, Will, doing that. That's really cool. All right, next one. <laughs> uh, ringmaster of a circus. Ran for president and won. Enjoys a good trashy romance novel. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, this makes me laugh. Um, uh, Beard of Bayou, or Will, I'll uh, talk to you in a second. I started your question. I don't know. I don't know, but we can. he can be my friend. <laughs> John, I love that. Yes, Will does have a great stash. I agree. Um, I'm doing good tonight. I'm doing amazing. I, uh, Logan, grr, baby girl. Logan, Logan. Really? Yes. It's like, no idea. All right. Ringmaster of a circus. He was the ringmaster of a circus in fifth grade in his class. Ran for president and won. Sixth grade class president and won. And he loves his twilight. And so this is Logan. <laughs> He's such a dork. Uh, we were on the phone and he was like, I'm like, just give me three things. Because he was overthinking. He's like, I have hands. Um, I use feet to walk. I'm like, Logan, come on, man. 
<laughs> so anyway, this is you guys. If you didn't see the real, you can't put him on the spot. Like he is very intelligent. He is hardworking. He is smart. But when it comes to saying, "Hey, Logan, hurry and do this," he's like, <gasps> he freezes up, and it's really, really funny. Shut up! I did not. I did. Ah, I did. Sorry, I did. It's with an E. Anyway, don't judge me. All right, here's the next one. Look at that beard, man. He enjoys fly fishing, mostly dries, which is really, really cool. Um, him and I are best friends, too. Sorry, Logan. No. Camp is my hideaway on the weekends from April to November. Um, he's speaking my language. Into photography, and now that I have my park... Uh, 107 drone license. I have been experimenting with drone photography. Dude, that is that is amazing. I think that is really, really cool. I've uh I want to know what drone photography looks like. I've seen a lot of stuff like uh when Hawaii was erupting, you know, um their their volcano was erupting stuff. I saw a lot of drone videography, but dude, that's really cool. So who is this? Right? Glorious beard. That's an epic beard. Who is this? We'll see who that is. But Logan, sorry, man. I don't know why I put an O in. I know it was an Ian. E and again, I will star your guys' questions as they come. Just while we talk about this. So who is this? I can't see anyone yet. Any guesses? Nope, it's not Gandalf. My new beard goal. That's, that's who? Seriously, Will, right? All right, this is, I'm just going to go because uh, we don't want dead Rick Rubin. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Rick James? Uh, this is Rick F. So you guys see Rick all the time on here. This is Rick. How cool is that? And look at that background. That is an amazing background. Like he's definitely, uh, he's definitely like me and him are so much alike when it comes to that kind of stuff. So that's cool. So thank you for uh, sending that in, Rick. All right, next one. Who is this? He enjoys playing basketball, playing on Xbox Series X, hanging out with family and friends. His hobbies are taking a part of electronics and fixing them, going fishing, camping, swimming, mini golf, and would love to go ice fishing. He hasn't done that yet. And I told him that ice fishing is uh, amazing. It's really, really fun. A fly fisherman. Let's go fishing. I'm a tear and fisher. Dude, I love fishing. I'm actually going, we're going to Alaska, I want to say July or August here shortly. This cut this year. Is that Todd? We will see. I'm just seeing if there's any more people coming or asking. Uh, what's the biggest ice fish you ever caught? So um, here in Utah, we don't have a lot of uh, huge fish. Like mostly it's just uh, cutthroat trout. And so we really don't have a ton. And so I would say the biggest that you could catch is a, a pound to a pound and a half. I mean, you're talking 12 to 13 to 14 inches and about like this thick, about an inch and a half to two inches. And so I would say about a pound, pound and a half is the biggest I have. But the coolest thing about um, ice fishing is you have two hooks and then you put it down on a small pole and you just let them. And so the coolest thing is me catching two fish at the same time when a uh, school of fish come through. So that would be the coolest thing I've ever done is uh, catching two of those at the same time. But I've never been anywhere ice fishing other than Utah. So uh, I can't say anything other than that. Yes, right? Check out that density and loves it. Uh, come to Alaska and hang out. I'll take you fishing for beard oil. Dude, what part of Alaska am I? If you don't, you're not comfortable here, don't tell me. But um, we're going to, last time I went to Yucatan Peninsula, if you know where that is. So we went to the Yucatan and uh, just, uh, did the middle Italio uh, River was mostly where we caught everything. And the Italio River, um, dude, it was so cool. It was like, so cool. <laughs> it was like, I didn't see a person except with the, our, my family that we were with. So, um, yeah. Ads? You got ads again? I don't know, guys. I don't know why. Um, I That's weird. <clears throat> All right, so this person is Todd. Check that out, man. Good dude. Really good dude. And uh, sent me a card and everything, so I appreciate that. He's a good person. All right. Yeah, I don't know about the ads. I'm going to have to look into that. There might be have to be a button as I create the stream that I have to hit so that you guys don't get ads. 
I don't, I'm going to have to look at that. I'm sorry about that. Anchorage, I have a lodge in Deska River. King said, oh, dude, you're playing with me. <laughs> oh. uh, yep, it's Todd right there. All right, so the, here's the next one. Who is this? Now, this, I'm, I'm almost positive you guys don't know this, this person. Um, he's making commercials great again. I uh, love hunting, love barbecue, love being a dude. That should that last one should help you guys, dude. See, uh, there's so many places I want to fish. The thing is, is I went to uh, Orange. No, what is it called? Right next to Carlsbad, Ocean City. Is that is that what it's called? Right next to Carlsbad, and they have a pier, and there's tons of people fishing, and I wanted to fish, but I just. You guys use poundage in the ocean that is like there your line is so thick. Where here in Utah, I'm using six pound, six weight pound on line and stuff like that. And so it's just like it's totally different type of fishing. And uh it's nuts how big the fish that you guys catch compared to what I what I can do here. All right, so this guy, if you guys haven't ever talked to him, his name is his here, we'll go right here. His name is Tony Lane. Uh, I'm going to be on his show here shortly. Uh, he's called the Dude Network. Um, they talk about barbecues and sports and and uh, uh, drinking and alcohol, like it's just like the typical, typical things that you do. And uh, he is one of the best guys I know. So you guys will like him. And if you ever go follow him again, it's Dude Network. He said he, he comes every now and then and shows his face and stuff like that. But he's a busy person. Yeah. Yeah, Phil. He he has a great haircut. I knew that was my boy. Yeah, bam, bam, Bigelow. Uh, Chris line, nice. That's every red blood American male. Yeah, right. Uh, with ice fishing and fish, uh, still ha has to bite the hook. Yeah. But the thing is, um, so you guys know that we collabed with Zachary Fowler. He won season four of Alone. Um, he still sells all uh, Copper John stuff, just his stuff. I, I don't sell it here anymore, but he, we sell it on his. And uh, anyway, you should see some of his streams on YouTube that he does. It is amazing, all the ice fishing stuff and ice fishing traps that he's done to create uh, all that. Just so that because you, you never know where the school fish are unless you, you know, have the tooling and the money to be able to look at it. Uh, biggest line I've used maybe 15 pound tests. Yeah, see, Mike, there's just that's crazy because this, I, I mean, I think we use 23, 24. Uh, that's probably even light in Alaska when we were fishing for salmon, but yeah. What's the biggest uh line I, I use is did it hurt when you fell for so stupid? <laughs> All right, next one. Who is this? So, this is uh, one of all our friends. Um, and, uh, so he's not here right now, but he's always around. Uh, he loves death metal music. He loves farming and drinking bourbon. So who is this? And again, uh, he, he's been going through a little bit on personal, so you don't see him around as much, but this is definitely someone. Yep. Beard of the North, Dan Nave. So that's Dan right there. Such a good dude. All right. And then the last one, if you guys can't tell already who it is, this guy just makes me happy just seeing him. Love my family, blood and beard family, blue collar worker, loves his dogs and goes to live stream if you need another hint. Yeah. Dan Eve, hotness of the Nordic. Yes. Dan is an amazing human. He really is. Grab a drink of water while you guys are. But this, this, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Jason for sure. Uh, one of my reels is spooled up with two. Holy crap. Seriously, Jacob? I don't even know what that looks like. What do you, does that like shark? Well, like, holy crap. I follow Zach Fowler, good dude and great time. No, dead serious, right? Yep, it's Jason. That's who it is. So if you guys want to be a part of this, um, uh, you know, I do like to do this every week. Uh, we start out with um, 
we started out with uh, celebrities, and I thought, nah, let's not do celebrities. Let's start doing everyone in the chat, and let's do everything like that. So if you want to be a part of it and all that kind of stuff, I would absolutely love for you guys to send me on Instagram or email a picture of you as well as three to four things of who you are so people can get to know you guys a little bit better. Shark fishing. Dude, that's no joke, though. Do you eat shark? Um, I think once I had cerveci, is that how you say it? Um, hammerhead. But that's all I can think of. And it was amazing. Um, everyone got sick but me. <laughs> I think everyone got food poisoning but me. But I think that's the only thing I had. What's up, Matt? I love it. Yeah, so guys, if you haven't been following Beard Laws right here, he's a stupid, stupid. He is stupid. No, he is an amazing human being and uh, super cool. <laughs> you do okay. That's you know that's what happens when you don't live by uh, a body of water that's bigger than you know a football field. Uh, my mosh just yes, it did. I just had a baby shark on a loop in my head from my toddler. <laughs> You say that now. <laughs> no, he's stupid awesome is what he is. All right. So questions I have for you guys. And I'm, I'm really kind of curious because I was looking under beer or um, Super Bowl facts. And I was like, wait a sec. I don't know any of these. So I want to know if you guys know these and then we can go from there. Who was the first team to win the Super Bowl and who was the quarterback? So, uh, do you guys know this? Because uh, I'm, I love football, but I didn't know who won the first one. Packers, Packers, Bard start, dude. You guys are on it. That is amazing. See, I guess I'm not as big of a fan as you guys, but I am. I just didn't know that. All right, next question: Twelve NFL teams have never won the Super Bowl. However. Four of those teams have never actually been to the the end of the Super Bowl. What are those teams? Who are those teams that have never been to the Super Bowl? I am much bigger. This is true. You're from Alabama? Yeah, man. See, one day, I just want to... I think, like, Florida would be cool. Um... <laughs> uh lions oh absolutely lions have not that's why dude man I hate you. <laughs> um <laughs> lions i'm not putting that up there uh you threw me off lions definitely haven't and that's why it was so sad they did they lost lions jags texans browns is that true it is. So Houston Texans, Jackson Jaguars, Detroit Lions, and Cleveland Browns. That is nuts, right? All right. Okay. The University of California. So Cal, Cal uh, is a top school for produ producing quarterbacks that have started in the Super Bowl. How many quarterbacks have they produced that have started in the Super Bowl? And for extra points, who were they? And don't Google it, Chris. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Dan? Thanks, uh, thanks for coming. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. As a trick, I'm just trying to remember I will later. <laughs> uh yeah, so who were they guys? Uh, so who were the quarterbacks and how many quarterbacks were produced? So we got five. So five is the right answer. So who were they? Do you guys know? I knew all of them but one, and I or two of them, and I still don't know who they are. And so you guys might have to help me out there. Goff is definitely one. I don't know who Ray Finkel is. Goff. Rogers is one. That's one. Those are the two I for sure knew. So there's five. So we're talking about we have uh, Joe Cap, which I know Craig Morton. I did not who he. I didn't know who. I don't know who he is. Vince Ferragamo. I don't know who he is. And Aaron Rodgers. So and Jared Goff. And everyone knows Jared Goff, who now plays for the Detroit. 
Oh, you guessed Alliance? Dude, it's... Yeah, so who is Vince, guys? You guys keep talking about Vince uh, and... Uh, I don't know Dan Marino. No, Dan Dan Marino never went, but Miami has. Right? Yeah. All right. So, dude, get this. This is crazy. I didn't know this. I looked this up. How many footballs does each team get to use in the Super Bowl? Now, I'm literally, how many teams does, uh, how many footballs, individual footballs does each team get? Oh, I love Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders is a freaking stud. Him, Bo Jackson, um, the coach for Colorado. Um, those guys just when they played football and baseball, and they're just amazing. But I love Bo Jackson back in the day. Okay, so we have guesses. So we have 11, 1, 24, 16. You guys are going to be like, I don't know who Ray Finkel is. Hey, Josh, how you doing? 54. You guys are not even close. We stop doing that. <laughs> All right, this is stupid, guys. Like I'm dead serious. Um, uh, Rudy in top three moving four. Rudy, eight at forty-two, eight hundred and eight. So, okay, he googled it. One hundred and eight footballs per team. Fifty-four of those are meant for practice, and fifty-four are meant for the actual game. On average. During the Super Bowl, 120 footballs are used with the rest of, and the rest used for the kickers. So that is crazy. So each team, so basically 60 footballs of on each side are used during the football game. And then the rest are, are used during practice. I think that is nuts. I've never heard that before. So I, I just like, and then what was funny is like how many, uh, was deflate gate? That wasn't the Super Bowl, right? Like uh, when, uh, Tom Brady talked about when Tom Brady was deflating the football so he could have a better hand handle on it. That wasn't during the Super Bowl, was it? Because that's nuts. 120 footballs, if you think about it, 108 footballs per team. 108 were all deflated. That'd be nuts. Okay, I will. It's been a while since I've watched that. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for coming on. Yeah, okay, it wasn't. I didn't think so. I didn't think so, but I was like, mm, maybe it was. Okay, who sang the longest national anthem? This is crazy because I felt like this was their this person would not have sang the longest national. Was um what what is that lady's name who sang the national anthem during the basketball game and all the was it the all-star game where everyone was laughing because she sang so bad? She was part of uh Okay, that's what it was. It was it was the AFC Championship, so it wasn't Roseanne Barr. <laughs> Holy, who are you, Chris? Are you just Googling everything, or do you really know this stuff? It was probably Logan Peterson. <laughs> Janet Jackson, uh, National Anthem. Does Janet Jackson sing the National Anthem? Carrie Underwood. Uh, I met Carrie Underwood in, in real life when I was like really, really yoked and big and, and doing bodybuilding. I was her bodyguard up here in Utah. Um, at, but the E Center was and it was called the Maverick Center now, but it was, I think it was called the E Center when I was there. Yes, it was Fergie. She was horrible. <laughs> That's that felt forever. That was one of those moments where you want to hide because you don't know what to do. Like you just feel so embarrassed for her that you feel like you're a part of it. I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but holy crap, that was horrible. All right. Longest national anthem. Alicia Keys clocked in at two minutes and 35 seconds during Super Bowl, whatever that is. The average length is about one minute and 50 seconds, just so you know. All right. Next question. How much money do the Super Bowl players make? So um, talk about winning and losing. So if you win the game. On average, how much do they make? And uh, if they lose, how much do they make? Garrett would literally turn into a 10-year-old boy. Oh, because <laughs> he likes her that much. Uh, remember when Logan promised to wear shorts, shorts for the vets? Kissy hit. <gasps> oh, this is happening. I'm going to remember and comment on him. Okay, 47,000. Um... 82,000, a lot, 100%. Yeah, sure. yeah, Matt, Melissa remembers. I totally forgot. 
<laughs> you guys are so stupid. Uh, too much, dude. It's so much money. So in 2022, I couldn't find anything for 2023, and I'm sure it's out there, but I didn't put a lot of effort into it. Uh, players on winning team got $150,000. But if you add their bonuses from previous playoff, because you, every round you get money, uh, most of the Super Bowl winners, players, made 250000 Now, that's not including, like, if they won the Super Bowl and it was part of their contract, you know, like, coaches and players do have some... Uh, spiffs basically that hey a bonus that if you win this game you get x amount of dollars that's not including any of that that's just saying hey this 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 per round you get this much money from the nfl and so uh on average they get two hundred fifty thousand, or most took home two hundred fifty thousand. now if you were lost to super bowl uh through all the games and the super bowl you took home about one hundred eighty-five thousand, which is nuts now if you think about purdy I don't know how Purdy works. Um, I don't know if you guys know who Purdy is, but he's a quarterback. He was Mr. Ir Ir Irreverent. Ir Ir Irrelevant. There you go. Good job, Tyson. And uh, so he's only making, what, 827000 only. Still a ton, but in, in California, it's not a lot. And so they're, the what did they say? Uh, they're... The fans are creating a GoFundMe so that he can still live in his apartment so that he can practice at, at the 49er Stadium because that's how little he's making. But with that being said, uh, I don't know like if this what it tells for Mr. Ir Irrelevant uh, when it comes to bonuses. I have no idea. I think it's kind of cool to know. Matt, do you know? Anyone know? Chris, you might know. All right. Could he uh, just do a tear away pants party, boy, USA? You're so dumb. All right. How much do the Super Bowl rings cost? Now, uh, this overall, so you have the whole entire staff, you have the you have the players, and then you have uh, important members of the organization, like the owner um, and, and people like that. Who, how, when you combine all those, how much does the, the NFL pay for these rings total? Hey, hey. <laughs> um, I thought uh, it was going to be less than what it was. Ah, more, John, more. Chris, you're a butt. <laughs> it is $5 million. So the winning team normally receives about 150 gem and crested Super Bowl rings for players, coaches, and other important members of the staff or the organization. The total for the set adds up to about $5 million. So on average, with all the diamond rings that they buy for everyone on the team and the staff and the members, like the owner and stuff like that, they uh, cost the NFL $5 million. All right. Next one. Oh, no, not that one. I am poor. That This makes me sad. No, dude. No joke. That's why uh, so many people are, I don't know. People will spend tons of money to go watch them, and that's why uh, they're making uh, the NH, uh, the, the N doubles, NCAA. You know, they're making uh, the players are starting to make money now because the the colleges were and the cities and the states were making so much money off of these players, and uh, scholarships just didn't make sense because hey, we'll give you a scholarship and you'll pay what twenty thousand dollars worth of education, but we'll make you know three, four, or five million dollars off of you in the meantime. So. They should do grills for the winner. <laughs> that would be funny. I'm not going to lie. All right. So those are all the questions I have. But let me answer some questions that you guys have asked. So um, when did you start offering channel memberships? Um, for a while now, um, I would say, Will, I've been doing it for the past at least four to five months. And uh, we sometimes we'll do a live uh, dad bods and beards where only you, the members, can see. Um, or sometimes we're thinking about maybe doing a membership where you can only comment, um, do some other things. And also every now and then I'll send out an email to members only and they'll get a $10 gift card for the website, things like that. So we try to make it worth it. And then I'll send some members only content, uh, out there just to make it worth you guys, because everything that you guys pay helps me pay for the content and, and the people who help me create content. So it's much appreciated. Ah, appreciate it, man. 
Um, all right. So then I got a couple more questions, un-Super Bowl related. Um, but it does, uh, people have asked me a lot of these questions uh, for real. Oh, Matt, Matt, you're totally fine. Or, uh, Garrett, you're totally fine. Why does Copper John's butter smell different than oil? So a lot of people are asking me, hey, Tyson, dead serious. Um, why is your butter like you'll you'll smell the oil like anglers and it'll smell and then you smell the butter and it smells like anglers, but it's a little bit off. I use unrefined shea butter. And so Copper John's, I, I get it specifically from the source. It when you get it unrefined, it's not going to be any any chemical alterations or anything like that. And so the plant sometimes the shea itself sometimes is a deeper scent than another shea that comes unrefined. So it's going to some of it's going to be like super super earthy, and some of them are not. And so sometimes you'll smell that, and it almost smell like it's like like you don't smell the smell uh, of the fragrance. And so what I always tell people is uh for instance let's say valentine lake you guys use valentine lake you put it on then you put the butter on and you can't smell it except the butter you'll put that on three four seconds later the shade's gone and then all you can do is smell smell the scent so i just really strongly believe in being as natural as possible and so therefore i have the unrefined uh shea butter to me the benefits outweigh the smell for three or four seconds just just me personally and it seems to work um, dude, Lake Tahoe's, uh, I'm not joking. I think I might bring that on for good. It's just, it is that popular. Uh, I will see if I can sneak a membership into my time. Oh, dude, you don't have to worry about it. I promise. But that is cool. I appreciate it. Uh, anglers oil, butter, and balm in today. Wow. Thanks, man. Uh, the butter is really good. I love the natural smell of the hunt unscented. I, I do too. You get used to it, and then you know that it's real, like it's it's natural. It, you get all the the essential nutrients out of that butter, and you know you're it's it's doing its job. Different sea minerals are extracted. I think the butter is from the Red Sea, and the oils are from the Black Sea, right? Um, fun fact, and I know Dan's kidding, but it's fun fact, our minerals are from the Great Salt Lake. There's only two parts of the world that you can actually get the minerals that we use. It is from the Dead Sea, and, um, and the other one is from the Great Salt Lake. And uh, by the time the oil, the minerals are um, concentrated enough, it's 88 times as potent as the ocean and sodium-free. And so I, I, I think it's so cool. I, I could talk nerdy about this all the time, but by the time it hits your skin it is doing exactly what it was meant to do which is to mineralize your skin and do its job and make your skin softer so dan thank you for that that was really cool uh cookie cutter is a basic don't know what that means uh tyson you should lake tahoe night is amazing if your customers are asking for it you need to do it i agree uh, e. uh the thing is is as you get a little bit bigger um and meaning um our upcs cost money uh, cost money for every hundred and then also you have to buy artwork and that artwork you have a, an actual graphic design artist to do that and then you have to create um, packaging for it so you have the boxes now you have all those different types of things everything costs money and then now you have to actually you know you don't print it from home you have to use these certain uh printers and all that kind of stuff and that costs a lot of money and so I have to outweigh K, and, and then also you can only have so many fragrances. After a while, you're like, dude, I, there's so much. I don't know what do you, I want. So you gotta you gotta limit the scent profiles that you're offering to. And so if I bring something on, I gotta let something go. And so all that has to take into place. So just eat, just so you know, it's, it's not something that I don't want to do. It's just something that it has to be very. I have to critically think about it and understand: uh, is there a benefit, and what would I lose? Because I will lose something. And the customer will uh, lose something. So, hope that makes sense. Uh, Dancy, love the Q&A podcast today. Oh, I got to listen to that one. I don't listen to that yet. Uh, I use Mountain River Butter in our daughter's hair after her bath. Her hair will be so curly tomorrow. Love it. No, it's that serious. Candice will use it. Um, I told her, uh, Melissa, what you told us yesterday, how you get out of the shower, why it's wet. Um, you'll put the butter in. You'll put that... Uh, thing over it sleep overnight and then take it out and then wash it out the butter and she just loves it and i think it's going to be a game changer for us so thank you melissa again for all the education you gave us yesterday yes dead say too uh that is a real goal bucket list oh dude no joke i want to go there's so many places i want to go but dead sea is um 
So I have a friend uh, who who just went to the Dead Sea area, and uh, you should see some of the pictures he took. It's amazing. Um, so on the Great Salt Lake, if you were to Google Earth, you'll see they have like Limpton Salt here. Uh, is it called Limpton? The salt company that with umbrella. Anyway, they're here, and you'll notice that there's white around it, and that's where they get all the salt because there's so much salt here from the from the sea. But in the Dead Sea, there's like crystals, and they're just huge, and they look like crystal, and they're just salt. And so I think it'd be so cool to see and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I understand now. Thank you for explaining. Absolutely, man. I, it's 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 not as simple as it used to be. It used to be where Morton Salt. There you go. Um, it, it used to be really easy. It's like, hey, yeah, let's just do it. But now it's just like, hey, it, it's a little bit more complicated now, and uh, it just is what it is. And so there's a lot more stuff I need to bring you on too. Um, as you guys know, I'm, I am bringing in a ball wash. We're doing another. We just talked about another deodorant that we're going to be doing that is going to be uh, baking soda free, more of a gel. I'm really, really, really looking forward to that one. And uh told you guys we're bringing in a couple other things. And then Dan and I and a couple other, like, we're bringing in something I think that is going to be really, really, really special. Um, something that's never been done before. I'm really thinking about it. I don't, I don't think it's been done before. Um, I think the idea has been done before, but it hasn't been done the way we're going to be doing it. And so I'm looking really forward to that. And so uh, it's going to be cool. Yeah. Uh, you can't drown in the Great Salt Lake. You really can't. <laughs> like you just stay there and you just float. It's, it's, you just can't. The only thing that lives in there are the, the brine shrimp and they do brine shrimp. Uh, they do come out and in just ocean liners and they just come and take all the brine shrimp and that's where you get all your fish food. So you go to, Pet Smart, and you go buy the flakes of fish food. Most of it that is going to stay from the Great Salt Lake. Have you ever thought about doing any Epsom soaking salt? I have. Uh, fun fact: I have some uh, Myrtle Beach uh, magnesium powder that I've been thinking about. Um, I'm testing right now, but uh, I have. I, I, right now, it's more magnesium uh, powder than uh, Epsom or soaking salt. So I, I'm really big on magnesium. I think uh, the world needs more magnesium. The people in it, I, I, it's just, what do they say? Someone Google it. If Chris is still on here, Google it. What does it say that uh, on average, how much are we deficient of, of magnesium? I want to say it's like 87% of, Amer of Americans specifically are magnesium deficient. But either way, I just, you know, I get in the tub or put a foot rub or something like that and just use this Myrtle Beach, which is the cherry almond smell. And it's just magnesium. So we have it. I have about 20 pounds and I'm just kind of debating on how do we package it? How do we sell it? Um, how, uh, what do we sell it for? And uh, what is a good amount? So like, do I give you eight ounces? Do I give you a pound? Like, Le legitimately i don't know how to use it, do it yet but it is here you guys are the first to know uh everything good with matching up the scents i know i had a few i still need uh, no um i'm still waiting for 1903 and um nightfall for some reason they cannot match those two 1903 is a little bit too um orange um it's just a little too much um because there is orange in it but it's more like in your face with the theirs and then uh nightfall is just doesn't i don't know what they did like i can't point it out like it just doesn't smell like nightfall but everything else is legit like everything else is legit like they're i actually like some of their stuff better like bourbon bayou like i don't like it right now but theirs i like um anglers it's softer but it lasts longer uh their sundance is exact their uh uh, Ghost Falls is really good. The barbershop is a little bit different than mine, and so I'm seeing if they'll tweak it one more time, but I'm happy with it if it is what it is. Pulleys is perfect. So most of everything is just a few things I think that need to be tweaked. So good question, man. All right. Another thing, another question I get quite a bit is what can I do to promote beard growth? So 
for you guys, what do you need to, what do you guys feel like you need to do in order to promote beard growth? There's a lot of people out there literally that are asking you and that are asking me, um, I get message, Melissa, how many times do we get messages a week about, Hey, does your beards promote beard growth? What do, do, do you have anything like derma rollers or something like that? What, how many times do we get that day or a week? I mean, I swear we get it like quite a bit. And that's not including our DMs or anything like that. Water. Man, people people don't understand that, right, John? Right? It's like we just get... I'm like, I know it's not sexy. I know it's not fun. But literally, just drink water. Working out. Eating right. All that stuff plays into a role. Yeah, seriously. It's like, she's just guessing 35. But we get asked all the time. It's a really a thing. Um, it's all about genetics and DNA. Absolutely. But the thing is, is there are things like they were saying, water, drink water. If you want to bring out the best that you have, because, you know, you may not be growing something. I know for me, I talked to Destiny. So Destiny just uh, trimmed my beard. And she said, since I've known you in a year, your beard has gotten thicker. And I just told her I've been drinking. I've been drinking a lot more water than I used to. And also, I've been taking our hair growth gummies because those are very new. And so I've been doing those two things. Those are really the only two things that I've changed differently. And uh, so the vitamins and the water have a really do play a role in it. Talk to more people. Tell them, tell them men have beards. Uh, pro beard growth. Absolutely, Miles. Put, the razor, put down the razor and don't trim your hair. We'll grow. Absolutely. People don't get that. People are so so concerned about what they look. They want to look like this. 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 Oh, dude, I want to look like <laughs> They want to look like this. I mean, seriously, like this. I mean, look at that stash. Like, look how nicely trimmed and everything that is. People want to look like that. And so when they feel like they don't have that, they give up really fast. And I always tell people, like, you know, me personally, I took me years to gain this and look as big as I am. And it's going to take me just as long, if not longer, to lose it to be where I want to be. And so it just takes time. Same with beard growth. It's just going to take time. So just unfortunately, that's just kind of what I tell people. Minimize stress. That made it. I wonder if that's I wonder if that's kind of what happened to me, too, John. It's interesting. Hmm. Because uh, my life has been less stressful because uh, we're now going to a warehouse. Melissa is helping me with this. Um, Melissa is like everything. She does emails, but she does a lot more. Um, clarifying your skin. I do. I do wash my beard every day now. I used to not wash my beard every day. I do wash my beard every day. So that might be a huge game changer for me, too. Uh, you're, yep, your sub, subcutaneous glands can clog pores and prevent new hair to pop through. Absolutely. And that's one cool thing I always promote about um, the magnesium. Uh, the ionic magnesium can actually bind with the calcium. If you're using well water or any type of hard water, it can actually bind to the calcium that may be blocking your pores and strip it so that you can have those pores that are that are now clean and help, you know, pop. Yeah, gummy. So... I just had my daily portion and a little bit more today. But yeah, so like biotin, I do biotin. I do our hair growth multivitamin. I do our collagen. And uh, matter of fact, guys, collagen. Um, at, did I just learn this from you, Melissa? After age 26, our collagen it starts to deplete significantly. And so therefore, we need to have collagen supplements. Red meats have tons of collagen, uh, things like that, so that our, we can help with our skin. A lot of the black dots, you know, the older you get, you start maybe getting black dots or something around your ankles. That's due to the lack of collagen. And so you guys really, really, really want collagen, especially after 26. Biotin collagen together or hair growth multi. Yes, yeah, stress or any trauma can cause hair. Yeah. Hey, Vinny, how you doing? Oh, buddy, you never have to apologize, especially taking care of you or your family. Um, again, all, all the best to you. I, I hope, uh, guys, I said this yesterday, but man, he tore his uh, tendon off his bicep. 
uh, lifting so heavy, and uh, you should, his I just he had to get it surgically repaired, and it just looks like it just hurts so bad. I just feel so bad for him. It just looks miserable. My neighbor started growing a beard. I was so excited. I offered him some beard oil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was funny but guys it is that time i hope you have a wonderful day <laughs> so dumb miles that just made my day um i hope you guys have a wonderful day i uh hey todd i we just talked you have to go rewatch everything man um we just showed your picture and all that kind of stuff but i have to take my daughter to uh dance she has a dance at uh, her junior high and I have to go drop her off, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I am doing a live on Instagram tomorrow with Philip. Uh, he uh, does a lot of mustache stuff, so William, you might wanna will you might wanna look it out, check it out. But it's going to be uh, three o'clock Eastern on Instagram. I'm going to try to do a little bit more stuff on on all social platforms. But you guys are amazing, uh, some of my favorite people in the whole world. So thank you so much. I did. I will, can I ask you guys a personal question? And this is a personal question. You guys know me. Um, you guys know me. So I was told by a specialist, a, a social media specialist, and I didn't hire this person. They gave me some unsolicited advice. And it was, I'm totally okay with that. That, that wasn't being mean, but I didn't ask for this. They said they need to know who Tyson is. They need more of Tyson. And so I'm like, well, I, I, I'm, I'm always around. They're like, no, you, we need to know who you are, who your family is, all that kind of stuff. Is that lame? <laughs> I, I really want to know. Like, like, I don't know. To me, it's, it's if I was just uh, hanging out and just saying, hey, you know, this is my family. This is what we just did. We went just fishing, or we went to a movie, or hey, this is just what happened. Is that something you guys want to see about my... I'm dead serious. I'm, I'm not trying to be weird. It's just you guys are amazing. I just am asking. Maybe it's a dumb question. Dude, it was a quick hour, Rick. And thank you so much for sharing your beard, man. And, and sharing your, your talents with us. Uh, my wife sits here with, with an earshot and crackles, dude. That was funny. Nope, that's not lame. Or nope, don't do it. <laughs> Uh, yes, I want to know. I don't think it's weird. Thumbs up. Um, uh, the life of Tyson's beard. Yeah, some people just want to. I don't know. I don't know if it's some people. It's just this one person. And so I just want to. Do I really want to? Because I can share you crap. But sweet boundaries and let your family have their time. Right? Miss the same, but busy. Uh, dude. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you you lost your your uncle. I know. Oh, definitely in our hearts and in our prayers for all that. So have a wonderful day. Miles, BYU all the way. I'm a huge BYU fan. Uh, sounds like a flash issue. What's a flash? I don't, wait, am I missing something? <laughs> all right but i gotta go you guys have a wonderful night and uh we'll talk to you guys tomorrow and uh, i'm always around if you need me seriously email text and if you want to be a part of guess the beard please send me your stuff have a wonderful day guys see ya <laughs>